Virginia is just days away from an election that could hold big consequences on hot button issues like abortion. Governor Glenn Youngkin has made it clear he wants to implement a 15 week abortion ban. If Republicans take power on both chambers, that could happen. Sarah Hammond joins us now in the studio to break down exactly what that ban would entail and how many people it could affect. Sarah? Well, according to a few recent polls, abortion is sitting at the number two most important issue to voters this election cycle, and about 40 percent of political ads have centered on the issue as well. But the CDC data surrounding when most women get abortions might surprise you. You've seen the ads and heard from Republican House and Senate candidates on 13 News Now about where they stand on abortion. I'm going to vote for 15 weeks because that's what I promised people. Common sense. 15-week uh, limitation. With restrictions after 15 weeks. The 15-week is a good compromise. That campaign stance was born out of Governor Glenn Youngkin's push for Virginia to ban abortions after 15 weeks, with exceptions in the case of rape, incest, or if the mother's life is in jeopardy. I think we can come together around a 15-week bill. And that's what I have been very clear about. According to the CDC in 2020, just over 93% of abortions were performed at 13 weeks or under in the U.S. A little more than 6% happened at 14 weeks or more. Political analyst Leslie Coggle with Virginia Wesleyan University says if Republicans flip power in the Senate and keep control in the House, a 15-week ban could happen. If Republicans control both chambers, I think you would absolutely see that. She says GOP candidates seem to be falling in line with what Youngkin is proposing because it's viewed as a, quote, middle ground for moderates. However, she says many Democrats fear we could see what happened in places like North Carolina happen here with Republicans gaining power and then pushing to go farther. There's a real fear that there's going to be that bait and switch. In Virginia, a report from the Society of Family Planning estimates the average number of monthly abortions, abortions having increased by roughly 550 when comparing months before and after the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. Back to you.